Haha! I finally got my new camera to work and be in focus. Or at least I hope that it's in focus. But it takes a long time because I have to do a lot of testing to see if it's in focus because there's no way for me to flip the screen up so that I can see if it's in focus. So I have to take pictures and then go around and look at the picture and then adjust the lens and then go back and all this measuring stuff, so it's finally in focus, I'm pretty sure. But the sad thing is that even though it's in focus, I don't know what I'm going to talk about today. So my Telebears phase is coming up soon, and Telebears is what Berkeley's signing up for classes is, basically. So my phase one appointment is like next Wednesday at like 1 p.m. I think, or something like that. So basically, I'm going to sign up for my classes, and the class schedule that I have right now is really like bolstered on film production, because I've spent a lot of time so far doing the film studies, and I really like film studies, probably because it's close to English, and that I just write essays about films and stuff, but I was kind of thinking that if I'm going to be trying to make movies, and if I don't get a job at Pixar, which I want to do right away, then I should probably have a solid foundation on making movies instead of just kind of an amateur foundation on it. I mean, I know that there's no real solid way to make movies and everyone kind of has their own method and their own workflows and their own programs and their own lenses like that they like and things like that, but I just thought that it would be good to kind of get some solid experience, kind of like forced experience if you're taking a class, and then maybe I would meet other people and then I could get more people to make movies with me in the future or something. So basically my schedule next semester has I'm taking screenwriting and I'm taking video production and then I'm taking one English class and then I'm going to have to wake up every morning to go to my 8 a.m. Japanese class, which is going to be horrible. <laughs> but it was the only way that Japanese would fit into my schedule. And I have to take Japanese because I have a language requirement for the film major. And I would want to take Japanese anyway, and I think that even if I didn't have the film requirement, I would still be taking it. But maybe I would have been more inclined to put it aside if it wasn't a requirement, especially because the only section of Japanese that I can take is at 8 a.m. And Japanese, for me at least, is my hardest class already, so having it at 8 a.m. every day, Monday through Friday, <laughs> is going to be really horrible. But I really like Japanese, so for the sake and affection of my senseis, I'm going to be doing my best in Japanese 10A next semester at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. <laughs> but anyway, so I'll be taking four classes, and then I'll have my football job still, and then I'll have my Nuns on the Bus internship, and then I might, if it's still going, have my Night Minister internship, which sounds kind of weird when I say it out loud. So it seems like a lot of work. And it is going to be a lot of work, but I've learned through the semesters that I've been here how to significantly lighten my load, I suppose you could say. So some strategies that I have found that have worked for me for saving time and using my time wisely is that I live about a little more than a mile away from campus, and I always leave at least a half an hour early from my classes, but with what's called Berkeley time, and classes start 10 minutes after the hour, that actually leaves me more like 40 minutes to walk to class, and I know that's a lot of time, but what I do is I just kind of mosey on to class, and I walk really slowly, and the reason I'm walking slowly is because while I'm walking to class, I'm reading my book, and if I walk fast, then I'm probably gonna trip. So I just walk slowly, and I read my book, and I found that I can actually get a lot of reading done just while I'm in transit, so I'm still going somewhere, but I'm doing work at the same time, and that has saved me a lot of time, and usually when I get home, I'm distracted and stuff, 
but when I'm walking and reading, it kind of forces me to focus more on the text, and then I can actually catch more things while I'm walking. So you can never really avoid taking homework back from production classes, because you'll probably never finish your project in class, and you'll be having to do stuff, and you'll be thinking about it more, like how can I change this screenplay to make this character more empathetic, or how can I change that one edit because that transition was really sucky. So you're always going to have that coming with you, but I think that in terms of my English homework that I'll have next year, I can probably do a lot of it while I'm walking. Another thing that I had started doing but I have stopped recently because my phone has broken and I don't have a timer anymore is that in the mornings I would wake up and I would read, doing my homework still, and I would read while I was exercising. So as Caroline might remember, in track we used to do the lunge matrix. So I've taken a lot of track drills and like ab exercises and I try to do them in the morning while I'm reading. And that has also been a success because while I'm active, I'm kind of forced to concentrate more on the text and I'm getting exercise done and I'm getting homework done. And if I do it in the morning and I've gotten exercise and homework done, then I feel super productive and it sets me up for the rest of the day. So that has definitely also helped. And the same kind of thing can work for Japanese in that when I have a smartphone, I can look at flashcards while I'm walking to school so I can study for my vocab tests or my kanji tests before I go to class. So basically, I guess the moral that I was trying to get at is that I'm a really busy person and I've been really busy this semester and I was pretty busy last semester and I'm going to be even busier next semester but most of it is actually kind of manageable as long as you know how to use your time and multitask doing things. So doing your homework while you're walking to school or doing your homework while you're exercising or doing your homework while you're eating. And I mean for me it's easier because I'm an English major but you know there is someone who's watching this video who's thinking of being an English major. <laughs> so maybe this will help. But I also think that you would be able to read a textbook while you're eating, or you'd be able to read a textbook while you're like lying down and doing side exercises. <laughs> so I think any kind of class that requires you to read, you can do this kind of stuff and be multitasking. I guess another thing that I'm trying to say is that people shouldn't be afraid of taking on more hours in things because I found that I have kind of doubted that I would be able to take on this much, but actually it seems like there actually is always time in the day for you to do things, but you just have to make sure that you can manage your time better. Because that's how you'll get overwhelmed, is if you can't manage your time well. But that's getting a little too preachy. So I'm happy that I'm finally in focus, at least I think I'm in focus, and that's what I have to say for today. So I hope you're having a great April, and I'll see you tomorrow.